Hi, I'm Captain Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and for those of you who aren't familiar with me or my uh, YouTube channel, I'm an inshore fishing guide here on the treasure coast of Florida and my favorite five species I go after are snook, tarpon, redfish, trout, and flounder and today what we're going to talk about is flounder. What is the best lures, what is the best lure to catch flounder with. Now I'm going to show you all the lures that work that aren't the best. And these are for Florida flounder. These aren't flukes or those other different kind of flounder. Some are whatever they are in other places. I'm talking catching flounder in Florida. Bucktail jigs. Do they work? Yeah, they work great. They work great. But they don't work as well as what I'm going to show you. Yes, these catch fish. What about uh, three inch paddle tails with a jig head? Yes, yes, these baits catch flounder just not as well as the one I'm gonna show you. What about these pre-molded things? Yes, yes, these catch flounder. They catch them well, but not as well as what I'm gonna show you. What about bigger paddle tails on a jig head? Yes, those work. Yes. Weedless gold spoons work. All of these different things work for catching flounder. But what works best is this. These are the Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet. These are the three inch swimming mullet. They have four inch and five inch. These work the best. And the two colors you wanna use are either chartreuse or white, or in this case it's chartreuse I mean, it's white with a chartreuse tail. That's all you need, is just this. This is the answer. So, now that you know that this is gonna be your best lure to use, I'm not sponsored by Berkeley. They're just the best lures. I fished all these lures. I've caught flounder on all kinds of different stuff. These work the best. So, all you have to do is figure out your jig head size. Now me, I'm a fishing guide, like I told you on my charters, my whole world is basically fishing between 10 feet down to 18 inches. And for that water depth scenario, I need eighth ounce, quarter ounce, and three eighths ounce. <laughs> Pretty much all I need. So for me, fishing there, that's all you need. That's the most lead you're gonna need to get these offerings to the flounder. If you're fishing in deeper water, you're obviously gonna need a heavier jig head. Uh, to get it down there um, but I'm telling you right now you do not need a different lure and your retrieve is pretty simple too. see people think that you need its color that's the biggest indicator on whether you're gonna catch fish or not and that's not true the first thing that you need to master is your retrieve and your retrieval speed the second thing you need to master is getting a size and profile of your bait right so sometimes they're feeding on bigger stuff, sometimes they're feeding on smaller stuff, and you need to figure that out. That's your job as a fisherman to figure that out, what size works best. Great when you have two people in the boat, because now you know you, what color and what lure you need. So maybe one of you is fishing with three inch, and one of you is fishing with four inch, and then see who's getting it, getting more bites. That's all you have to do. But here's your retrieve for flounder. I'm casting it out, and it's just a slow, bouncing it off the bottom. That retrieve works best for flounder, redfish too most of the time. Oh, and you're casting up current, so you want the bait coming back with the current. It's gonna be your best presentation. That is what you need to catch flounder in Florida. Now, there's different flatfish, there's a summer flounder, there's flukes, and all kinds of other things that are further up north. I am talking about a gulf flounder and the southern flounder. That's what we have here in Florida. That's what these baits are best for. I don't know what works best up there. Like I say, I fish in Florida, and most of the time I'm fishing from Central to South Florida, so I don't even fish up North Florida very much. But for my area, and this, and I'm, I'm guessing for most of Florida, this is gonna be your best bait, and chartreuse and white is gonna be your best colors. Yes, Berkeley has a jerk, a four inch jerk bait that's in this works just fine when they want something bigger. I think they even have a five inch. So 
you might need three inch four inch and five inch but this is the lure you want and either white and chartreuse or white or chartreuse is going to be your best bet so i hope that helps i hope you catch a lot more flounder because of this video and until next time i'll see you then thanks thanks for watching